Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of soloing Armadil and the goal for this one is to receive the pet and as much profit as possible. The gear is a set of full Armadil and I still have uh, one of my friends Elijah, so I will be using that just like we did in loot from a thousand Armadil. Uh, for my crossbow, I did have the Armadil crossbow instead of the Xerite and for the inventory, I was bringing my Kodai Wan for Blood Barrage against the minions, and the Blowpipe for Special Attack against the minions, Bones to Peaches, and of course 10 Super Restores, 3 Bastion Potions, and the rest being Ceridoman Brews. Uh, of course you need a Mithril Grapple to get here, and an Ecumenical Key. I did get 5 keys before I started this video, and I did have to get another 2 later on, but I did not include that in the timer. And what you're seeing on screen here is basically how I do an Armadil kill. I just stack up the melee minions minion and Kree, and then I use the Chin Chompas on both of them, making sure that Kree doesn't use a melee attack against me. Once the minion dies, I simply switch to my crossbow, and then once he respawns, I go back to the Chin Chompas. Uh, best case scenario, he does respawn, and then he doesn't die the second time around. This way, I can stack him on the range minion and blood barrage for my HP back after every kill. Not every kill works that way, but if it does, then it's a pretty smooth trip overall. But yeah, here we have uh, some drops coming in. We have 100 silver which is 1 and 1016. Following that, we did receive the Rune Sword. That, unfortunately, is 1 and 406. So overall, not the best drops in the very first inventory, but I was proud of myself with all the supplies that I did have left. I just had to realize that I needed to start bringing more Super Restores instead of Ceridome and Brews. The last time that I was at Armadil was uh, during the recording of Loot from 10 different money-making methods for 10 hours, and I didn't receive a drop in that video either, but before that, of course, we do remember the the video about seven months back, uh, loot from a thousand armadillo, where I think I made over 200 mil. So definitely good RNG from armadillo all around, and over 4,000 kill count in this video. I should be reaching closer to 5,000, and still no pet. And uh, if you don't know, that is definitely my favorite pet in the game. So that's the main goal for this video. Of course, I'd love to see as much profit as well. Coming off of that loot from 1,000 spindle video, making an insane amount, which I hope you guys uh, did watch that. I know a lot of people didn't get notified fight about that upload and that's on me i sort of uh messed up while i was uploading it and yeah so hopefully you guys check that out it's definitely worth the watch but tonight is armadil night and you know this is the one god wars dungeon boss that i haven't done for 10 hours and if you're wondering why uh you know because we did do bando zamorak and saradomen all in the same week about two months ago oh just kidding four months ago wow that time really goes by quick it's mainly because i had just done a thousand kills and i didn't want to show you guys another armadil video after I just showed uh, so many kills already being done so that was just kind of a coincidence but here we are finally doing it 10 hours of it I figured enough time has gone by the price of armadillo pieces has actually gone down quite a bit in the last few months uh, but the most expensive piece right now is the armadillo chest plate which uh, I would really like to see and there you go it is uh, it has shown 28.7 million GP I believe the chain skirt is about 21 mil and the helmet is I don't know like 60 to seven or something like that so it's not quite the pet ladies and gentlemen but it is the most expensive drop that i can receive and i believe that was the 50th kill just about two and a half hours in to the video so far really glad i got a drop because this means no matter what all the supplies that i will use i will still be profiting and just about four kills after that chest plate what do you know another armadil chest plate caught me almost cursing there but i you know i gotta get player moderator one day so i can't do that but anyway 28.7 mil once again Again, totally kidding about the player mod thing and that's just incredible guys 56 mil in this one inventory and we're only like two to three hours into the video so far well we cut briefly to a 10 second reminder that if you are in need of a new computer or a laptop you can use the link in the description below to save five percent off anything at ironsidecomputers.com been partnered with ironside for over five years now and um, i'm shooting for a decade so feel free to check it out it's uh, linked in every single video description. All right, let's get back to Armadil. Three hours in at this point, and what a late night upload. I mean, I'm currently voiceovering this at 2.30 in the morning. I had a huge cup of coffee before I started this voiceover because quite a lot of you guys in the comment 
section below were saying that I sound tired and I need to go to sleep or I need to get some sleep, something like that. I apologize. I really, I listened to that video back and I, I did laugh at myself the first minute I sounded tired. I had recorded that intro like four days prior to the actual voiceover and I remember it was about 5.30 in the morning so that was why I had been up all night but I'd like to think the rest of that 1000 spindle video sounded pretty alert. If not though, you let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to uh, make things a little more energetic over here but you guys are funny. I always love reading the comments. You guys are so positive all the time and I really do appreciate that. So one thing to keep in mind about doing Armadil, uh, especially if you're going to be soloing it, I actually had to spend a lot of money on Black Chin Champas. I guess there's not a lot of bots out there hunting them these days because their current price is over 2.8k. And at one point, uh, I think I had to spend about 3,000 GP each. So every time you see me throw a chin, it's automatically 3k gone. And then you factor in the cost of potions and of course my bolts, which are not uh, cheap at all. And then all the blood barrage casts that I have to use in order to gain ecumenical keys and all the blood barrages I use on the minions in the room. It's definitely not cheap to do armadil, that's for sure. So I will be uh, taking that into account and we will be deducting the cost of supplies from all of the drops that we do receive and the price check at the end of the video. I did unfortunately receive a rune square shield, which is again one in 1016. But I mean, you can always expect things like that to happen when you're wanting to see a drop, uh, but you just get used to it after a while. I would say uh, Armadil is probably my second favorite God Wars dungeon boss. Uh, would say if I was on task, uh, Zamorak would be number one, but if I was off task on all of them, Sarah Doman would definitely be number one. I just love running around the room, especially if I have access to a twisted bow or a set of full crystal armor with a crystal bow. That works just as well. So yeah, I really do enjoy uh, Armadil and Sarah. Uh, unfortunately, I've already made so many God Wars dungeon videos, I really can't go back to them anytime soon, but uh, hopefully on my Iron Man, I can start doing some stuff around here. Right now, my Iron Man is actually doing a video called Loot from 98 to 99 Magic, Konar Slayer only, and I've been using a lot of Trident casts on a lot of different things, so hopefully you guys will see that in about three days from now. Other than that, I have Loot from 10 Hours of Last Man Standing that is uh, planning on being released on the first of next month, and we are going to start March off with a bang. Very excited for all the videos that I have planned for you guys in March. Like I mentioned before, I already have a list and I have about 14 decent ideas written down, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. I'm always taking suggestions. It can be really weird, uh, really out there, but specifically, it's going to be done for 10 hours, so keep that in mind. I did receive a rune sword uh, for the second time later on in the video, and uh, this was unfortunate, but again, I was so lucky in the first 50 kills that I figured I was going to go dry at least a little bit, but hopefully not dry for the rest of the video. That's happened to me in a few loot videos before. I remember I pickpocketed um, recently Firewatch Sentinels for 10 hours and I got two blood shards in the first five minutes and then nothing for nine hours and 55 minutes. But that is the interesting thing about RNG and a time spent at 10 hours, anything can happen at any time, which is uh, honestly the number one thing that motivates me about this series because you never know what can happen. For example, losing a thousand black chin champas or getting crashed by a guy who's just angry at the world. You know, people are just crazy. Who crashes at Armadil? And you don't even want to know what he said before uh, that message. I had to clear the chat. Either way, though, I did luckily receive a dragon med helm to uh, cheer up my mood. And, you know, this is a little bit more rare than the other items that I got. Uh, this one being a 1 and 2032. I've also received two curve bones from Armadil in the past, which is, I think, 1 in 5,000 a piece. So I'm really dry for that pet. And that is so badly is what I want right now in this game. I would actually put that next to Inferno Cape is how badly I want it. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished with loot from 10 hours of soloing Armadil, and the pet has not been obtained in this video. I do look forward to coming back here one day and getting him, though. All right, well, we had some luck at the very beginning, and then we had some strange luck towards the very end, but overall, two Armadil items, no pet, and nothing else other than that. So let's go ahead and do the price check. Everything comes out to be 60.3 mil. This is true truly as accurate as it gets. Um, I made sure that every item was accounted for and every bit of coins was as well from the minions and the boss. 4,600 kill count, so we are nearing 5,000. It's definitely a personal goal of mine. I would love to get the pet before then and then officially stop Armadil at 5,000 exactly. One day in the future, you guys will see a short series of me uh, ending all of 
my boss kill counts, whether it's skill or monster related with a zero. So for example, I'm 95 corrupted gauntlet, I'll stop at 100 and so on and so forth. Overall, I did have to spend about 15 mil in supplies. So it looks like the overall profit comes out to be 45 mil from this video. And looking at the rune light log, there you have it. 213 Kree hour kills and a time span of 10 hours. Could have been more had I had a Zerite crossbow or an alternate account helping me out. But since the price of Armadil is so cheap these days, I didn't really feel like uh, investing a lot into this video. Just kind of kept things a little basic, of course, other than the Elijah loan. Huge thank you to our YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Swan Positive and Matthew Stivers. Well, that is it for now, guys. Thank you for everything. I'll see you soon with 10 hours of LMS. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.